Oh, that meant I was ready. Okay. Ready when you are. Count okay. down. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so for doing DIYs, something that comes in really handy is a nice backdrop. Um, actually, for anything. We do a lot of photography and other stuff as well. So we found one on Pinterest that we want to try to create. So what we're going to need is we have some material. This is um, four yards. And then um, we have stuffy for the baby. We have a tape measure so we, that we can measure our PVC pipe, a marker, so we can mark off um, where we need to cut it. This is for cutting the PVC pipe. We have two elbow joints, four connectors, and four T joints. We already pre-measured this, um, but I want to let you know each step. So we bought a total of 40 feet of PVC pipe. We're going to be using 30, 33 feet 6 inches. So first of all, we need two pieces that are 7 feet long. Um, we're also going to need two pieces that are 36 and 3 quarter inches long, which are down there. Um, we also need two that are going to be 44 inches long, two that are 12 inches, two that are 24 inches bought this PVC pipe cutter um, instead of a saw. It was like 20 bucks at Home Depot. Um, and this is how it works. So you want to pull it open, which leaves it nice and wide open for your PVC pipe. And you're going to go down to here. And I'm going to keep clicking until it cuts all the way through. Very simple. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of them, and we'll get, see you back when I finish with that. So we went ahead and we cut all the pieces that we need. First, we're going to start off with our two... These are not the pieces we need. Okay, well, we just got to wait. because okay. So we went ahead and cut everything already. Um, first what we need is we're going to assemble the bottom part of the frame. So we're going to use the two 24, sorry, the two 24 inch pieces and we're going to connect them to the two 12 inch pieces. So you need to connect them with a T joint. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to connect these two. And the 12 inches will go on the back and the 24 inches will go on the front. And um, actually, so we needed caps for the ends of these, and they did not have them. So these are the connector pieces that we talked about in the beginning that, um, if your Home Depot has them, should actually be caps, not connector pieces. But they will do for what we need. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to connect our 44-inch piece to our 36 and 3 quarter inch piece. And what they're going to do is they're going to snap into these ones right here. So first we're going to do these. Um, I don't... Is that... Yeah, this is 44 inch piece. And it's 36 and 3 quarters. 7 feet across the top, 7 feet across the middle. Mm. Okay. So we need 30, 44 inches on the bottom. Is it going to get that? Uh, nope. Barely. Almost. How much do I have? How much room do you have? Yeah. Got about an inch. Well, we can yeah. lift it about an inch. Uh, right in here. Well, move it away from there. Well, you can. Pick it up and move it. Like, here. Okay, so I'll just lay it backwards for now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to stick it in here. Turn that off for the time being. And then we're going to stick this one. Hey, baby. Hey, your baby. Into here. Make sure you rotate it yeah. down. You can stand up with it now. Yay! 
Yay. Are you going to help Mama? Hmm. Yeah, a piece, huh? Right here, we have one of our seven foot pieces, and we connected elbow joints on both ends. This is the side piece where we have the 12 foot inch in the back and the 24 inch in the front, and we use T joint right here to connect the 44 inches and the 36 and 3 quarter inches on both of them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect. Can you see a picture of me? You're taller than I am. I have a picture of you. Oh. <laughs> it's, it doesn't matter. You want to lay it down? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Which is the same height, yeah, essentially, but you just put it in string. Once you get it on there, just pull down with your fingers. There you go. Oh. Nice. Okay. So now straighten your your kickstand part out. See how mine's just twist. And this is what. Our now this is our last seven foot piece. Seven foot piece. And this piece goes in the middle. And this is supposed to help it stay sturdy? Yeah, this will help it to be more sturdy. It'll also help for something to connect your backdrop to so that it isn't just hanging in quite so wrinkly. No, your, your T is not set, is it not? Yeah. Got it? Can you twist it? Come on, warm it up. There you go. All right. Push. <laughs> There you go. It's in. All right. So it is. here it is. A little flimsy. Well, that's not straight either. It's not. Yours isn't straight. Yours isn't straight. Yours is pointed out. I think mine's pretty straight. Mine, no, it's not. Let me see. Should it be pointed in, you think? No, I think it should be straight. It is straight. That is straight. That is straight. Your side. An optical illusion. Okay, so here is the finished product. Um, it's a little wobbly, but it's not for climbing on.